Once again taking place in Grant Park in Chicago, Illinois, Lollapalooza will bring together a diverse lineup celebrating many styles and genres of music in one of America's most musically significant cities. With a lineup that features the long-awaited reunion of Soundgarden, pop female sensation Lady Gaga, hitmakers Green Day along with MGMT, The Strokes, and Arcade Fire, just to name a few. Ever since festival founder Perry Farrell relocating his traveling festival to a destination festival in the heart of Chicago, Lollapalooza has become one of the best festivals in America, continuously drawing huge crowds to the park. Soundgarden, who haven't toured together since 1997, are set to release a best of album, Telephantasm, one version of which will contain rarities including a song from the Bad Motor Finger Sessions titled Black Rain. While the band's set list remains a mystery, Cornell said in a previous interview that with the success of their last two albums, choosing songs was always a problem. Especially in the last two Soundgarden records, there were songs that I wrote or, or that we wrote together that um, because those records were both so long, they both could have been double albums. We went out on the road, we didn't really have uh, enough time in a set to cover all the material that was on those records. Another band making a much talked about and long awaited first US performance will be X Japan, who are one of the most successful bands from Japan yet have never performed in America. X Japan drummer, songwriter, and pianist Yoshiki talked about what a special day it will be for X Japan to perform at Lollapalooza in 2010. But at the same time, it's going to be the uh, first U.S. show, so maybe it's going to be a very special day for us. We're just excited about, like, you know, um, I don't know. We are ready to kick ass. <laughs> At a press conference a few years back, Jane's Addiction lead vocalist and Lollapalooza founder Perry Farrell also talked about the festival being completely carbon offset by implementing a series of actions to help the reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. I also want to say that we are completely carbon offset. We uh, even go take an extra step and carbon offset the, uh, the travel of our staff and invite the audience to do the same thing. If you go online, you can see ways where you can uh, carbon offset your own travel. But, um, and we've, this year we've also, uh, Charlie, you know, we, we love the idea of recycling and, uh, and keeping the trash off the, off the floor. We've got a team this year for the first time. What's the name of the, the... Clean Vibes. Clean Vibes. So if you see the people from Clean Vibes, they're basically not only grabbing trash, but separating it for us. So it's a guarantee that the, the park's gonna be clean. Taking place August 6th through the 8th, Lollapalooza 2010 will also feature performances from Jimmy Cliff, Social Distortion, Wolf Mother, Against Me, Spoon, Hot Chip, and Cypress Hill, just to name a few. Phoenix Devo, the new pornographers, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros, and of course, a special DJ set from Perry Farrell are also just a few options for fans, as special after shows are around Chicago after the festival ends. <laughs>